in the forest, we got to use zip lines, but these were limited to going down the zip line. In Sons of the Forest, though, we get the rope gun, which gives us a little bit better option with zip lines. It makes it easier to create them as well as makes it possible for us to go up the zip lines as well plus send our logs up the zip line but perhaps you have been in sons of the forest you shot that first spot with the zip line anchor and you started running along and you just keep running hearing the rope gun clicking away until it finally snaps on you and you no longer have your zip line going because you went too far and maybe that happened when you were trying to set up a zip line and you found out you were just short by like 10 meters in the distance of what you want the zip line to be and what the game allows the zip line to be. And while there is a mod called Infinite Zipline, which lets you adjust the maximum length of the rope for zip lines, I'm going to show you an easy mod free trick to get unlimited length on any zip line you want. So here I am on the top of the mountain, one of the highest points. And I wanna create a zip line from here down to the beach area that you can kinda of see through the mist there. Obviously, under normal circumstances, this would be impossible to do in the game, but I'm gonna show you just how to do this. So, first thing you wanna do is you want to start with where you want your zip line to begin, the point A, and I'm putting that onto this log here. And then for point B, I'm just gonna fire it into the ground. And now I'm here on the beach where I want the zip line to end. And what I'm gonna do this time is go in reverse. I'm going to fire just into the ground. And then I wanna fire the second point as the ending point for my zip line. As, as you can see, I've got a nice view of the mountaintop from here. Now at this point, you just wanna do a simple thing of setting up a save point and saving your game. And I would suggest just in case you break something on this, you might want to make a copy of your game save and you might want to save it with a name that is recognizable, such as here, I'm using Infinite Zipline Guide. Now, while you don't have to close the game out completely for this, you can technically do this while you're at the initial loading screen. Just because of the background noise, it might be easier to go ahead and just close out completely. So now what you want to do is you want to go to your start menu and you want to start typing in percent app data percent just like that now this is going to get you into the app data roaming folder but we need to go into the local low folder so go up to your menu right here and click app data and then go click local low and now we're looking for end night which is the studio that develops sons of the forest you're gonna click sons of the forest click saves Click the random numbered file there, click single player, and now you're looking for the most recent save file. Don't worry about the zip files in the lower section. These are backups. You're looking for the most recently updated save folder. And you will know you're in the right game save folder if you look for this name file. And then you look to the side and you see here, mine says infinite zipline guide exactly what I just named my save file as. So whatever you name yours as, just make sure you look for this one name file in the entire folder and match it up. Once you're in the correct folder, go to the very bottom to Zipline Manager Save Data, and you're going to open it with something like either Notepad or Notepad++. Now, when you first open it up, if it looks a little hard to read because you've got stuff trailing over to the side, that's fine. Go up to format and choose word wrap. Once that's check marked, you'll see it compresses everything into your window that you have open. And what this file is, is the file containing all the information for start point and end point for every zip line you've created in the saved game. And they go in sequential order, meaning the first one you made is going to be the very first one starting here at this first anchor position. And then going all the way through until you reach the second anchor position through here. So that is the very first zip line I ever made in the game and is still active in the game. So in my case, I'm going to go look for the last two zip lines. So I have anchor position A here. This is the last mark of anchor position A. So this is the beach zip line, the one that I did right there on the beach before I saved the game. So that means this next one right here for this anchor position A is the 
zip line I started up on the mountain peak. Now, remember when I said on the mountain, I wanted to pick my starting point first, and then I just shot it into the ground. Well, that is how I have anchor position A as the starting point, the one I'm concerned with. So anchor position B, starting from here, is kind of unnecessary now. And they can be dismantled, true. You want to keep in there, at least, you know, while you're doing this. But... Again, this is not necessary because this is the throwaway position. It's the same with anchor position A for the beach. This is the one I shot into the ground on the beach because anchor position B is the one I care about. So all you have to do is take anchor position B from the first of the zip lines you shot recently and then all the way through to anchor position B of the second one. So this is anchor position B of the mountain peak and anchor position A of the beach that I want to get rid of, and I simply go and hit delete. Now, all of this has combined into one zip line with the starting point on the mountain and the ending point on the beach. All I have to do now is save. Now you just open the game back up and load your save file. And there we go. I have a zip line that is going all the way up to the mountain peak. And yes, I can use it to go zipping my way up above the tree line to the mountain peak. I will acknowledge that this does take a few steps, which is why if you are just looking to create a slightly longer zip line, maybe not super far, just one that needs to go that slight bit further than the game allows, just go use the infinite zip line mod. It's gonna work fine. But in the cases where you wanna create a crazy long zip line, this is the better option. Because for one, I didn't have to hold the rope gun out the entire time I was running from the starting point to the ending point. That is one drawback with the normal method, even with the mod. If you are trying to drag the zipline out a really long distance, you could get attacked and not be able to defend yourself without sacrificing, starting over with the zipline, or you can even have it glitch like it has done repeatedly for me with the hang glider where I start to fall into the ground and it makes me drop everything. I just don't like the idea personally of being just short of completing the really long zipline and have the game mess it up. So for me, I'd rather stick with this, but do whatever works best for you. If you want to use the mod, use the mod. If you want to do a crazy long zipline like I've got here, then I showed you exactly how to do it. 